In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy mortise like this in Premiere. Three, two, one. Hi and welcome or welcome back to DIY Film with Merle Becker, the channel where I help you make better videos. As always, I've got an additional tip for you at the end of this video, so keep it locked. All right, so everyone's looking for a way to make their videos stand out, whether it's by using clean professional lighting or an interesting background or maybe even a kitschy sound effect. So today I wanted to show you a super easy way that you can make your video stand out both quickly and easily by using a mortise. A mortise, for those who don't know, is basically a video layer with a hole in it which allows you to see the image beneath it. The good news is you can use pretty much any piece of footage to create a mortise. For example, I recently used an animated star background to create a mortise for my holiday gift guide video, which I got from a stock footage site. But you could also use something like this heart background for a Valentine's Day mortise, or this generic bokeh background for a product mortise. Or you could use something like this flower footage to make a mortise for opening credits for a film, which looks pretty good for basic premiere text combined with a royalty-free flower. So let's show you how to do this mortise thing. First, find the footage that you want to use to create the mortise from. If you have a subscription to a stock footage site like Motion Array, you can search something like bokeh or hearts background or whatever you're looking for. Just make sure the video clip that you choose is royalty free or you have permission to use it in your piece. Next, open Premiere. I'm using version 15.2, so if you have an older or newer version, yours may look a little different. Then put the clip that you're going to use for your mortise on video layer 2 and the footage that you're going to frame out on video layer 1. Then click on the clip on video layer 2, the mortise clip, to highlight it and go to the effect controls tab and scroll down to Opacity. And under the word Opacity, click the circle here to create a mask. And underneath it now, you should see the words Mask 1. And in the Program Monitor, you should see that it created a circle mask over your image. But you want to invert this so that the image shows through the hole. So under Mask 1, click the box next to the word Inverted. And now your image shows through the hole. Next, you need to make the edges of your mask softer so they blend nicely with your footage. And you also want to make the circle a little wider. So to make the edges softer or feathered, click the value next to the mask feather under mask 1. And drag your cursor to the right so the value increases. Or you can also manually type in the value. But I like to click and drag so I can watch as I'm making adjustments and just stop when it looks good to me. So now we have a nice little mortise with a soft edge, but the hole is too small. So to make the hole larger, you can either adjust the value by mask expansion under the word mask, or you can also click on the little squares on the circle itself and move them around. So play with these values until you have your mortise looking the way you'd like it to. And lastly, you may want to make your mortise layer a little transparent so it blends with your original footage a bit more. To do this, click on your mortise on video layer 2 and in the effects editor tab, scroll down below your mask layer and adjust the opacity value. Make sure you're adjusting the opacity value and not the mask opacity value. And if you really want to get fancy, you can change the blend mode as well. So play with these values until you get something that you're happy with. And then that's it my friends, mortise magic. Alright, let's do that tip. As you know, a quick and easy mortise gives your video a lot of bang for your buck. Another similar way to add interest to an image is to create what is called a vignette. A vignette is essentially a little area of darkness around the edge of your image, which helps to draw attention to your subject. To do a vignette, just use one layer of video, your subject layer, and follow the same instructions I showed you in this tutorial by creating a mask, but this time don't invert your mask. Just keep that inverted box empty and then adjust the feather value until you've got just a hair of black around the edge of your image. And voila, there's a vignette, which makes for an instantly more interesting box of chocolates. 
delightful. So there you go, folks. Next time you need a little extra something, consider a Mighty Mortis or a vignette. And if you found any of this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell so you know when the next one is posted. And I will catch you next time.